Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be installing Docker and Kind on macOS. This is pretty straightforward, so let's get started. So in a browser, type in Docker Desktop uh, for Mac. Click on Install Docker Desktop on Mac. And then uh, for me, it's going to be the silicon uh, version or the silicon chip. Uh, but uh, choose your uh, chip architecture here. And so we'll wait for that to download. And once it downloads, we'll double click it drag that over to the Applications folder. And then in our Applications folder, we'll go ahead and double click on it and double click on Docker Desktop or just Docker. That will open up Docker and we'll go ahead and accept the terms and use the recommended settings. And we'll enter our local password and we can bypass this tip of the week and skip the introductory questions there. So now it's starting the Docker engine. And so we'll wait for that to start up so we can install some containers. And so we'll go back to the browser and I'll go to our kind Kubernetes page to access the quick start there. And so we'll click on quick start. And we'll click on Installing with a Package Manager. And since I'm on macOS, I'll use Brew. But first, I have to install Brew. So if you don't have Brew installed already, let's go ahead to brew.sh and use that command and paste it into a terminal. And we'll uh, enter our local user password again. And it should be quick, pretty quick to install. And so we'll just wait for that to install completely. So we can just take the command from the docs, brew install kind, and uh, command not found. And so I have to actually follow the instructions after I install brew and uh, copy and paste these commands in to add that to my shell. And once I do that, I can do brew, brew install kind again, and it'll go through the process of installing kind. And now that kind is installed, I can do kind create cluster. And that'll just create a one node cluster for me with the uh, latest version. So 1.26.3 in this case. The uh, version might be different for you. So just uh, depending on when you're running this command, it may be a more recent version. Once it's installed, uh, once it's created, I should say, we can go to uh, view the container that's running, which is going to serve as our Kubernetes uh, control plane node. And then I always like to exec into the container just to make sure that I don't have to install any other prerequisites, essentially. So I can do kubectl get nodes and and uh, I don't have to install kubectl on my, on my actual desktop. And that's it. All right, hopefully that was quick and easy for you. If you had any troubles or need any help with that, please feel free to comment in the uh, description of the video down below. So if you were watching this video, most likely you had a Mac, um, so you can skip the next two lessons, which will be installing on Windows and installing on Linux. Uh, so you can skip forward to the lessons after that, which are setting the autocomplete and the alias.